Good morning, my friends. I am having a little bit of some tea this morning, but LP can suggested that I put a little bit of some flavor drops, the white chocolate flavor specifically, into my tea the next time I brew it, and it is freaking phenomenal. So I'm drinking this and getting a start to my day. And a little morning fess up. I can't lie to you guys. Last night, I gotta admit to it, I did have a little bit of a cookie eating session. I was already done my like calories and food for the day. I wasn't even hungry, but then I had a little bit of this do double chocolate one and then I was like, damn, I want another one and then I had the peanut butter one. Ah! I've been drinking my water. I try to get in at least half of this half gallon hydrator. So that's at least like, like a quarter gallon of water before I go to my workout. And in the background, I've got a little bit of some natural Stephanie making me really want to eat cakes and terrible things. But I'm gonna finish up my water, gonna finish up my tea, then we're gonna do some emails, then we're gonna get pre-workout and go. But before I do that, I wanna talk to you guys about this special NASM thing going on. Oh, look who it is though. Kurt just got here. Hello, baby, how you doing, girl? Good. I'm doing good. How I like your you? finger wagging that like you're doing. <laughs> so guys, check it out. NASM has just offered me a like a link to give you guys to get you a 14 day free trial online. So basically it gives you access to like their, their online personal training program thing and then you can decide whether you want to go into the full cert program. But basically with a certification like NASM, I've had a certification before when I first, first got a job as a personal trainer. It got me into the doors of a LA Fitness actually. Corporate gyms uh, usually take certifications and then pick their personal trainers from there and then you're able to train all sorts of different people from fat to skinny to old to small children like everything and it gives you a lot of experience and then you can kind of branch out into the fitness industry from there but yeah this is one of the highest ranked ones there are about three that are really highly ranked and are kind of valued by the general populace of um, commercial gyms and whatnot but anyways if you guys are interested in this it's a badass certification It's one that I always have to recommend it for people I thought it was really dope to be a personal trainer I really enjoyed having certification I had for over four years it really benefited me but if you guys are interested I will leave the custom link below the video you guys can click that go check out the 14 day trial and see if you like it see if this is something that fits you and see if it's something that's gonna pave a new career path for you all right let's get out of here and let us go to the gym <laughs> So gonna have this monster, gonna drink it in my stomach. Gonna go inside the gym, get on a treadmill and run it. Hey, gonna do some legs, yeah, it's gonna really hurt. I'm gonna hit some legs till the blood squirts. Woo, woo, go! Do you wanna talk, but I don't. Keep yapping and yapping, you know I'm about to choke. Plenty little pennies and hennies for me to play with. If you knew insane brains, these bitches came with. You wouldn't laugh, you wouldn't last. You wouldn't make it past the first time they grasped your buckle class. Boy, I'm trying to inform you. Get your head right. These women come and get them, but they leave you cash tight. That's right. Cause you're dumb ass desperate. Trying to hound the women like they get your dumb ass arrested and touched up and tested. I put a hole in your chest. The sight is a mess, kid. So don't slip. Make sure you don't trip. Or I'll come drop a clip inside of your dome. Then I split. Body bags. Come and get it. Split it, see how many sides his body has. I'm getting it. I'm finally back, and now you see. <laughs> hey, where are we? Sprouts. What are we doing? Buying groceries. Hey, he ain't lying. He ain't lying, folks. He ain't lying. <laughs> Check it out. Let me give you guys a little improv grocery haul. I got myself one spaghetti squash. Got myself about four or five of these Roma tomatoes. A little bit of this <laughs> diet cheddar style slices. It's like vegan, just like sliced cheese, perfect sandwiches. Potato bread. My call was either between potato and sourdough, and I was like, Kurt, call it right now. Bam, potato. That's what he grabbed. It's a pretty good choice, man. I like potato bread. Oh, yeah. Then for the sandwiches, these are all kind of the sandwich stuff. I got a little tofurkey deli slices. This is really bomb. This Daya Supreme pizza. This is like a big ass vegan pizza. So good. I had it last night. It was delicious. Little sweet potatoes. And then, of course, my weekly tempeh. But this is just for today. So, this is my low grocery haul. <laughs> See you, <ya>, dude. <laughs> Holy Lord, OM damn G. Did you see that sandwich I just put together? I want to show you guys the ingredients real quick so you know what's going on. Got some potato bread like I just told you with, with uh, Kurt. This has three grams of protein per slice, 100 calories. So that's already got six grams of protein. And then a little bit of this vegan AIDS. 
I, I, you know, I, at first when I tried this, like when I was gonna go try this stuff, I was like, you know, I've never really used mayonnaise in my life, so that's not really a big thing for me to have a replacement. This stuff tastes, like you could dip anything. I'm not even gonna lie to you, during prep there was a few times where I had a little snacking face and I would dip carrots inside of this stuff. It was kind of gross, but one tablespoon is 90 calories, nine grams of fat, Zero grams protein, zero grams carbs. So pretty basic mayonnaise right there. Then we got the Tofurky Deli Slices. And this is pretty cool because it's basically uh, vital wheat protein. So it's like, um, it's like seitan, except just formulated slightly different. It's basically like their version of it and then also conveniently cut into slices. And this has a pretty decent amount of protein. 13 grams of protein per five slices. And per five slices, 100 calories, three grams of fat, and six grams of carbs. Diet has very conveniently sliced cheddar style slices. So again, this is vegan. Just making sure everybody knows it's all vegan stuff. Um, and these are like pre-cut the slices, which is super convenient, just like that. The macros on this are 60 calories per slice, 4.5 grams of fat, 5 grams of carbs, and 1 gram of protein. I was confusing myself. I wasn't sure if I was still singing or not. So freaking excited about this because I've been craving these big Scooby-Doo deli sandwiches and uh, and now I'm getting getting to have them. I can freely eat sodium. It's not even that this sandwich is really that bad for you. It's just that there's tons of sodium in it. So it's so nice to not have to worry about that kind of a thing. I'm outside because I wanted to show you guys Mr. Chickens. Those two chickens right there. One of those two is featured on Instagram now because I took an Instagram picture out here, put that up on the screen and, and the chicken was like, yo, I want to be in the picture, damn it. What are you looking at? What are you... Oh, that's what you're looking at? You guys want to see this in Food Porn HD? Oh man, a little diet cheese, tofurkey deli slices, a little bit of benevolent bacon, some tomatoes, some lettuce, <whistles> vegan eggs and ketchup. We are down here at the shop. Is my pops. Got the car going up and uh, we have essentially checked out the hood. I set this, so now we are setting the car into the air and we're gonna see how it looks under there. It is getting very windy. All right, all checked up and looking pretty good. Just gotta do a little bit of work on, I think Monday or Tuesday is what we're gonna do. But it looks like we are uh, kind of ready to go up to Chico. I'm pretty excited about it. It's gonna be an interesting vlog kind of adventure for us. Going up to Chico, it's gonna be interesting. There's tons of vegan stuff. My sister's like super stoked to show us all the vegan places. She has lots, lots of friends who have like little vegan businesses, like little vegan soap companies and stuff. It's really cool. Everything's like kind of handmade and stuff. But yeah, just a quick shout out to my dad. He is such a badass man. He has always looked out for me. Has always looked out for my car stuff, like set me up from head to toe from the minute I was born and stuff in, in terms of like figuring out how to do things, teaching me everything he possibly could, trying to make sure that I had the right context to be able to build something for myself and I've been able to do that and it's absolutely 100% credit to him. So thank you dad, because I know you're watching this. But yeah man, I could not be more grateful for my parents and one thing that I have always said I will do and that I will do, I guarantee it, and you guys can, can quote me on this, is that I will pay my dad back in full for bringing me up from being a, a child until until now because it has costed so much money as you guys know i'm sure some of you have kids cost so freaking much money so that's something i've always wanted to do is pay him back and uh, eventually like set him up in a really really nice kind of a life but that's probably like five to ten years out but we're gonna make it happen i guarantee it and we get to have some more food oh comida Ooh, where are we my friends we are at the 99 cent store getting, you know what, we should get all the rest of them. There's only this many left. Oh yeah, check these out. These things are so good. These are dark chocolate coated coconut chips. The calories on it are so solid. Two servings of 90 calories is only 180 for the whole whole bag. Me and John do this same, me and Obese to Beast do this. We count how many servings there are in the whole bag because we're undoubtedly going to eat whole bags. So that's how much a serving is in the entire bag. And then it is vegan. So it's coconut chips, coconut cane sugar, salt, dark chocolate, compound cane sugar, vegetable fat, cocoa powder, lecithin, and vanilla flavor. Boom, dude. Vegan. These are so good. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that, my friends. Ooh, that is what the coconut chips are looking like with chocolate all over them. They're freaking delicious. But what we have here is a spaghetti squash. So this is very basic. You're just gonna cut it in half. Well, I'm only gonna use half, so I'm gonna cut it in half, and then I'm just gonna pop in the microwave for like five to eight minutes, depending on your microwave. I'm just gonna put it in for five, see how it feels, poke it a bunch, 
and then I'll just judge it from there. So you're gonna cut it in half, and then you're just gonna scoop all this little pumpkin seed goo and gut stuff out, and then you're gonna save, well, I'm gonna save the other one. But yeah, then we're just gonna toss this in the microwave. After your spaghetti squash comes out of the microwave, you basically just chip away at it with a fork like this. So you're just scraping. Ooh, it's getting steamy, girl. It's like shower. You just scrape away with your fork, and because the fork is pronged like that, it ends up kind of making these little bit of a noodle strands. And I know it sounds kind of weird. Like, I wasn't really big into the idea of spaghetti squash. I thought, like, eh, it's like a vegetable, and it's gonna taste like crap. You're just, like, making it up that it's good. But it's actually pretty good, because the, the texture of this is, like, I don't know how to explain it. It has some good texture. It's not like a big, mushy, crappy thing that you're adding to your pasta. It has a texture of pasta. So, I don't know. You'll see in a second, boys and girls. But over here, whoa, 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 what we got going on in here? We got a clean stove. And we're really like, and this looks like a World War II helmet or something like that. It's not that clean. But the rest <laughs> of it's pretty clean. It's pretty, pretty good. We got some. This is, I think, a smoked applewood tempeh. So it's basically just tempeh with a little bit of like some flavoring and whatnot. Some mushrooms, because I gotta have my mushrooms in my pasta. And then these are garden meatballs. These are super tasty. I haven't had them in a long time, but these are very, very good. And like I'm saying, dude, I'm having a lot of just random processed delicious foods. Like I'm not watching the diet really hard, I'm just enjoying myself, but I'm having kind of my staple stuff because I'm going to have black bean pasta. But yeah, don't hate on me too much. The Whole Foods is coming, but for now, because the diet is finally over, I'm having Gardee. Ooh, who's my little woman? Who's my little woman? Huh? Who's my little woman? Huh, did you come to play? Did you come to play with me while I'm cooking? Huh? 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 You're so beautiful. You're the prince of Cambodia. Yeah, you're the queen of Nairobi. You're so cute. You're beautiful. I need to cook. Ah, dog attack. Ah! Ooh, look at me do them right like that. Check it out. That's what it's looking like. Black bean pasta. And then I added all those strands that I showed you guys from the spaghetti squash into it. Added a little bit of Prego mushroom tomato sauce. Absolutely delicious. I've always grown up on Prego, so I've always loved it. And then you got the browned uh, little meatballs, meatless balls, and the tempeh and whatnot. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Looking really good. Threw a little spinach in there. I wanted to get it in there before I threw on the nutritional yeast because after I throw this on there, it kind of looks really crappy. So watch this. I just put this on, and this is basically like my parmesan. But yeah, if I would have showed you guys this, you would have been like, "What the hell is? What is this? Like freaking? Do you get mold from the outside of a house or something in a bowl?" Yes. Yeah, so there we go. But this stuff is really tasty. Adds protein, B vitamins. A lot of people ask where I get my B vitamins in. I usually have at least once every probably two, three of these a day, especially from milking. I would even just kind of eat it like this yo because it's it's really tasty it's kind of like cheese it's but yeah so there's the meal right there pow three hours later a little bit bad kind of want a little something sweet before the sushi so check this out what i got in here is a little bit of a some some strawberry and banana sorbet so this is like the only option at this place that it doesn't have dairy it's like a yogurt place but i was like i bet you they have something that doesn't have dairy they always have like a coconut or cashew or sorbet or something so they did and so I got I think it was 12 ounces and then there's uh, toppings obviously so it's a little bit less than that and and then I got like um, carob chips coconut chips a little bit of cereal some milky sprinkles man it's gonna be delicious I'm enjoying myself while I still can and then we're gonna have some sushi very soon <laughs> Here is my food, damn, look at this. I got some avocado rolls and some cucumber rolls. So here is what it looks like. And then I got extra ginger because I freaking love ginger, man. It is so good. I know the lighting's kind of bad, so I'm sorry about that, but here's just a quick little peek into what I got right now. Oh, it is the next morning, my friends. Hello. I fell asleep. Yeah, you did. <laughs> so I'm gonna ask. There's Tim Tim with though. Hey. So sick. Get excited because videos are coming with him this coming week very soon. But I wanted to address what happened last night. I got super tired after that sushi and 
I'm gonna be transparent with you again, dude. I did go hard in the cookies and the protein bar department. What do you feel about that, John? I'm not even surprised. <laughs> I knew you already were having a like, face back I there. I was gonna ask you, I was like, how many cookies did you eat last night? And I was like, I'll wait. I'll the wait. answer is I had two cookies. Luckily, I only have one physical cookie left. Oh, that I'll so take good. from you. Yeah, you, you <laughs> honestly should, so I don't have it tonight. And I had 17 of these. And I had 55 <laughs> million of my favorite Cliff Bar. And no, I had two Cliff Bars, so two cookies, two Cliff Bars. That's kind of been the routine, and I know it's kind of bad, but it's kind of I've kind of worked it in that way that I've been having an extra two to four protein units <laughs> every night. But this is that two week period post competition, and we're kind of like accepting this and allowing ourselves to kind of eat stupidly like that. But it will be cleaned up. I am. I gotta say that I'm really proud that I haven't binged or anything like that. Oh yeah, tell them about that. Um, You've done really well. I was like, dude. Terrified. You were just in LA though, right? Yeah, I was just, okay. so I was just in LA. So obviously it was like hard for me because I'm not in my room like with all the food that I have. Uh, but I haven't done anything super crazy, so I'm really, really proud. I'm really stuck, man. Yeah. yeah. I'm only, I, I just weighed myself up three pounds from stage weight. That's so good, that's man. That's not bad. Some people are already oh, up 15. 20 pounds. Dude, bro. that's yeah. crazy. Just putting like whipped cream in between yeah. two waffles and eating sandwiches yeah. like that yeah. and things so like I'm that. So I'm doing good. Like I'm still eating and enjoying stuff and like going out to eat a little bit more, but I'm not like. <laughs> going crazy like I mean I've dealt with binge eating and like there's been days what where it's like I can't even move yeah that's why I was so nervous. I haven't I haven't done that so I'm really happy with that well, I'm stoked to hear that dude well guys we are off to the gym our whole little group here we got like all these boys uh, and then later today me Tim maybe Eric the Electric is gonna come down and do a bunch of like vegan taste tests and stuff there's a lot of good stuff coming guys make sure that you do follow snapchat it's Brian Turner make sure you follow the podcast beyond the podcast link below in the description and yeah I think other than that Make sure you like the video if you enjoyed it. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you're thinking in the comments below. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Other than that, Team Beyond the Week. CT. Lift heavy or die, Myron, mother.